know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. The other thing we could do. It didn't let me shrink it good. Okay. Now you can actually see. It's not blown up so big that you, you know you can't see what the hell you were doing. <laughs> Now, there's another trick I didn't teach you guys the other day, but I was working with one of your friends in here the other day. Notice that in Pro Tools 10, this is the most kick-ass thing they added. If you start breaking within a track, you start breaking thing up into separate little bits. Notice what shows up on the bottom left-hand corner. A little gray thing? It says 0 dB, DB. and there's a little fader. Oh, yeah, you yeah, click yeah. on the fader, that fader controls just that clip. So if you end up with one clip where he's just a little too quiet, you don't have to go in and automate anymore. You can literally just take that one little thing and boot, boost it up, which is, man, it was really smart. It was so smart that they did that. I didn't even see that until you pointed it out. <laughs> I think what we'll do is here. I was born. I was born. I was born. Someone's trying to break in. <laughs> Sounds like a gunman. <laughs> Just open the door now. <laughs> You guys have five minutes. Yeah, now, that was a rough, like you could go back in and tweak some things a little bit one direction or the other, but now we're starting to make it feel like. Yeah. Yeah. But it's better, yeah, with the timing. It was funny, Jonathan asked me to sing it and it sounded like Frank Sinatra or something he said. <laughs> you did, I remember that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Staying out of trouble? Yes, sir. Oh, it's just like. Helping these boys out. They effed it up pretty good. <laughs> Jonathan effed it up pretty good. <laughs> I was born. That's much better. The little violin thing we put on there was driving Mr. B crazy, so we had to, he, he muted it. Because he was like, okay, if that's what it is, a he was like, a violin. Mm -hmm. It was a trumpet. No, that little, uh, ding, 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 that little violin midi thing. That was a violin, wasn't it? No, that was a trumpet. He was like, in what world is that a violin? <laughs> yeah, so see what I did? Just went in and cleaned out. Remember, here's your tools. This guy allows you to go in and take that bit of space and highlight it and then hit the delete bar, then it's gone. Oh, it was that simple. It was that simple. And oh my gosh. The hand, you grab it and move it one direction or the other. Once so that's it. That's the whole that's the whole deal. This guy helps you go in and you can take like we could break the, even this phrase up into separate phrases if we want. And then if it's not wide enough, if you can't really see stuff, this guy helps you expand or contract things. So you hit this arrow, it moves stuff this way, right? It stretches it out like taffy, so you can see the spaces in between better, right? That makes sense? Yeah. Now you can see, you know, there's still crap I could trim. You see that there's no sound there, so you could even trim that. And then this tool makes it bigger or smaller that way, so you can really see where stuff is. If you expand it that big and you see something that's a flat line, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. So you can really go in at that point and go, okay, well, there's nothing there. I'm going to take all of them. You just hit backspace? Delete, yeah. Oh, delete? Wow. And it's gone. Dang. You don't need any of this nonsense. He's not making any noise there. So you can trim yeah. those phrases up. It gets rid of any background noise that might be happening in the room. It gets rid of any of the sounds that are coming through his headphones because it's not there anymore. You know what I mean? So... That cleaning process is one of those painstaking things that some people get off on and they think it's kind of fun to go in and clean shit up. I hate doing it, mm -hmm. but it really does make the track sound super duper clean. 
And then you can move phrase by phrase mm -hmm. and to get things to line up. If your singer's off, you can literally just nudge something over. Literally nudge it one step, one direction, or the other. You can highlight something and literally arrow it over. Well, this arrow right key right now is going to move from phrase to phrase. But you can set it up so that it literally will just nudge it a millisecond one direction or the other. And then you can listen to it and you can nudge it again and you can listen to it until it lines up the way you want it. Okay? Cool. Make sense? So I give you a head start. At least get your first phrase going. There you go. Cool. Cool. Rocking. How's your phrase? Ah! All three of us. Yeah. That explains so much. <laughs> we just gotta fix it up. Mm -hmm. We made that. Uh, Jonathan. Yeah. Without breaking anything, <laughs> or messing with something he ain't supposed to be. Because <laughs> usually when he tries something, he. He, mess, he makes it to where it ain't gonna work no more. What is the vapor stuff supposed to do? Does it just like relax you or what? Um, I never understood what it does. I see people doing it. It's supposed to give you the same effect as a cigarette. Oh, okay. I got, I got a six milligrams of nicotine. Oh, okay. It's like those electronic cigarettes. Okay, just like that. Okay. I spent a whole paycheck on this because I got it on my birthday. Oh, okay. Like, I got paid on my birthday and I was like, splurge. <laughs> Still, what they do because I see people with them and I know it. Yeah, it's vapor. Okay, so it's pretty much like those electronic cigarettes. Yeah, see, mine, like, I gotta, I gotta re wick mine. Like, I gotta keep putting more. Oh, okay. See, other people have like a, just like a whole tank that mm -hmm. they just fill it up and they don't have to worry about it. But mm -hmm. this one goes like dry after like every eight hits. Oh, okay. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know. Studio. <laughs> just full of vapor. Full of vapor. A hot box studio. Music going. <laughs> Get a real Snoop Dogg atmosphere. <laughs> that's, that's Snoop Dogg for you. You see well, vapor I can, everywhere. I can do all that in my house. <laughs> I can do it outside though. It's kind of whiny, yeah. Oh, it's just like the river I've been running. Yeah, I can delete that. That was just, that was just an idea, yeah. Yeah. Or just change the instrument. Maybe to like a piano or a guitar. Mm -hmm. Like an electric guitar. Not like a hard rock one, just like a soft electric one. You should have sang with them, Jonathan. I hear that good voice wanting to come out. You were singing it, but you stopped. You got the notes. You just need to work on your pitch. I heard you hitting the notes. You guys could have done a duet. You and uh, Anthony, Jonathan. That's not bad. It's like a music box. I kind of like it. It ain't. It's like a little music box to go with it, yeah. I kind of like it. <laughs> 